today we're going to be talking to you about bathing the dog. This is Turbo and I'm Bonnie. Alright, so first thing we want to do is remove the excess jewelry right here. And get our supplies ready. We need a towel or shampoo. And if you have a geriatric animal, you want to have a towel or something, a mat in the tub so that you can allow for that animal to have better grip so they don't hurt themselves. And put him in here. Alright, so this will be a real quick one because Turbo is really little. But first thing you want to do is thoroughly wet them. Make sure that it's lukewarm, not too hot, not too cold. You don't want to shock your animal with some really cold water. That's not what you bathe with. You don't want them to. Alright, and the ears, you want to avoid getting anything into the ears. You want to be able to wash the head. Hey. You can put cotton swabs or cotton balls in the ears. Uh, just remove them after. Alright, so you want to make sure that you put a little bit on your hand at a time. <laughs> Don't let the dog <laughs> lick the shampoo. <laughs> Alright. Not all of these shampoos are going to set up into a really foamy type of shampoo. So you don't need to put a whole lot on the animal, but enough that you know that you're able to get it on all of the body and be able to wash all the areas thoroughly. Underneath here and lightly on the head. Massage it in. You want to have good sufficient contact time three to five minutes for a little guy like this. We can get it done sooner, but you do want to have good contact time, especially if it's a medicated shampoo. And just to note that in the areas, like between this area here and the squirtle area, you know dogs have longer hair, even cats. That's the area that is hard to rinse you want to make sure that you rinse it good thorough, thoroughly in that area to not irritate the skin because it gets trapped in there. Alright, oh boy. Don't forget the feet. Alright, warm water. You don't need a high strain, something nice and um, low as far as water is better than having a full blast of a hose that's not always very easy to control. So if you can get one of these where you can control the amount of water that you're using, that's also very helpful. So the eyes, sometimes uh, people do put a little ointment in the eyes so that they can keep anything so you can see the water can drip down there um, on his face. As much as possible you want to avoid doing those types of um, things where you put too much water on the head and it gets in the ears and the eyes and irritates them. Right. He seems nice and relaxed and comfortable. So I'm able to actually do this without any type of restraint. Some animals aren't so easily handled while they're taking a bath. Alright, again in this area. Okay. And there's a clean little dog there for you. And always make sure you have <laughs> Come here. a towel waiting for your dog. Come on. So we can dry them off. And that's how you give a dog a bath. <laughs>